Hi all, Mass Barncup from Kaiser Power Electronics. Today it is Wednesday the 18th of March. This is my seventh day in isolation. And today we are talking about electron tubes. I have a big box here of all kinds of different sizes and shapes and all kinds of tubes that I have bought. Some in uh, lots a lot and uh, some are just other from uh, ham markets where you go through various boxes and you just buy up what's interesting and probably also cheap. But I also have some much bigger tubes, so uh, I have picked out a few of the most interesting and let's take a look at those. Here is a uh, wide selection of different power tubes. I left all, out all the small signal tubes because they are not in, that interesting and everybody knows a ECC83 double triode anyway, so I'm not going to spend so much time on something like that. So at first we have here a small uh, PL36, which is a output line pentode used in old um, CRT uh, TV sets. This would uh, produce the um, line voltage, which also hence the name uh, for the uh, scanning electron um, beam of the cathode ray tube in the TV set itself. This is rated for 100 volts at 100 milliamps and can dissipate a good 10 watt of power on the plate. Now moving on up to the, a Russian equivalent of this. This is the 6P45S, or the, yeah, I don't know the uh, correct Cyrillic um, letters there, but it looks like an N and a C, so 6N45C. Now this is a EL509 equi equivalent. It can uh, have 900 volt or up to 8 kilovolt um, peak voltage on the plate. And the, where the EL509 can dissipate or can conduct 500 milliamps, the Russian equivalent here can do up to 800 milliamp. I'm using this tube in um, my latest um, tube amplifier, which is a push-pull configuration for 50 watt output. So check that out. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for, for that project. My first... Uh, tube amplifier actually uses this. It's the, the EL33, which is a very common and well-known tube used in audio amplifiers. This is also rated for around the 800 volt peak, but only 100 milliamps, uh, so it can do a good 25 watt of plate dissipation. Here I just took in a Magic Eye tube, CRC6E5, and as you can see it can uh, do uh, more or less coloration of the slope here to indicate how good in tune you are or your power level and what these are commonly used for. Now moving up into the some of the uh, transmitting tubes I have here. First we can take this pair of PB200 made by Philips. This is a um, transmitting pentode rated for 2 kilowatt uh, on the plate and can dissipate 110 watts of power. As you can see it has some nice um, encasing and large ceramic element, large uh, glass rods inside to stiffen off the construction. These are some very uh, sturdy tubes. Now moving uh, up a bit in uh, power, we have the other Philips over here, which is the QB2 250. Now that's just slightly uh, larger, but it's actually rated lower. It's rated at 2 kilovolt at 100 watt plate dissipation. As you see, it has a large and very thick plate, or at least the, um, the shielding around the plate but it has a lower power output than its smaller uh, version here. Now the QB3300, um, it's a uh, tetrode rated for 3 kilowatt and at 125 watt uh, plate dissipation. Now we can see here that once we go from pentode to tetrodes where we have one grid less, the construction is also much more simple since there is only two grids inside of this instead of three. Now moving over here to the Jan from iMac, J1 
Jan 250th. This is a powered triode. It's rated for 4 kV on the plate and 250 watt of plate dissipation. A very nice looking tube with its round bulb appearance here. But also a very brittle tube, so uh, have to be careful with these, especially with enough uh, heat sinking around the anode connection to not uh, crack the glass. Moving up to my largest um, power tube here. It's a Philips QB5 2000, which is a uh, output tetrode rated for 5.5 kilovolt and 800 watt of plate dissipation. Now this uh, plate you can see in here, that is just going to glow red to white hot when in operation. This is really a magnificent piece of, uh, of tube. Now I also have a few Russian Thyotrans here. The small one is a Krypton Xenon uh, Thyotran. These are meant to uh, trigger higher voltages and uh, be used in pulse operation. So usually you would see these in radar applications and such uh, from the USSR. This is rated for uh, 2.5 amp at 4 kilovolt. It's called the, the TG1, whereas you can see here, it just looks like T and half a T and one. But if you want to search the, this up, it's called TG, TG1 2.5 slash four. Now it has a much, much bigger brother sitting over here. Two and a half kilograms of Thyatron tube construction. Just look at that. It is a magnificent piece of work here. This is rated for conducting 700 amps at 25 kilovolt. It is uh, filled with uh, hydrogen and is also meant for uh, radar applications and other pulse current uh, applications where you have to switch these very, very high peaks, but not for that. Um, much uh, for that many pulses uh, at a time. It has a rated life of not less than 400 hours. So you can really see that this is designed to take a massive amount of abuse, but also something that really shortens its service life when it comes uh, to its overall usage. So until tomorrow, see ya.